damn it. Really? Out of all the places I hit, I hit the fucking railing right there. Ah. <sighs> Oh shit. They sure do love rolling, don't they? Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get feedback on whether you actually hit the enemy or not, so I wasn't sure there. I thought maybe I missed almost all of the shots. But I guess I actually hit him. Or hit it. Oh god, it's doing that fucking weird hand thing again. Ew. Ugh. It's like spaghetti arms. is that thing? What is that? It just released some rods that go up for some reason. We might lose a lot more if it's as bad as it looks. Bad for whom? For the crew? Where every member seems to think that navigating the North Pole is like a trip to the shops? In this place, the wind howls like a pack of wild beasts bellowing, go forth and behold. The beast leads you into the frozen hell. In you go, eyes wide open while the cold spreads down your throat and into your gut, where it forms a ball of ice. This is the North Pole's welcome. No marching band, no flags, no speeches, Instead, it shatters all your illusions, and suddenly, all the routine comforts of Mother Earth seem alien, half forgotten, like something in a dream. Only if this has happened to you, can you truly understand the North Pole, and it will stay with you forever. What is this bizarre device? It just rose up, came up here to the next floor, and does nothing. 
I don't understand. I could see why some people. Ugh, it looks like it's all bloody. I could see why some people would want to sleep in here because it would actually probably be warm. Yeah, actually, it is warm. It'd be kind of, <laughs> it'd be kind of like constantly being in a uh, steamer, but it would be warm. I think I missed something. Yeah, I need a handle or something. I need to get a handle on the situation. Here we go. Now, for the third time. Averkin. Here. Barbukin. Here. Dobrovolsky. Right here. Erashev. Erashev. Zovachev. Yeah. Kayekting. He's not here. Levey. Levey. Mazira. Dead. Novrotsky. Nureyev. Is missing. Tata Urov. Tata Urov. Here, he's right here. Hundakov. Uryasov. Feriulin. Kakimov. Hundakov and Kakimov stayed in the engine room. Navrovsky was working downstairs. Where are they now? Not here. Shiverov. Shokanov. Eliashev. Here. Is that everyone? No. Yashev. Yurigin. Yadugin. Here's what we have. HQ is aware of our situation and is launching a rescue mission. We'll stay in contact as long as the radio is operational. Secondly, the valves are welded all around. The second line will take a long time to cool down, so we'll be warm for a while. Now, regarding food, Okay, so that's what HQ is doing. They're trying to rescue them. Hmm. Did it ever arrive? God, these things can take a shot. Ah. 
Ah, there we go. I'll take that. Please. Please? I just want your weapon, sir. Fuck, I can't grab it. You can roll all you want, you're still gonna die. Actually, do you think that barrel is explodable? I don't think it's that sort of game, but let's try it. No. Damn it. Alright, hip fire test. I should be aiming right at that yellow box. No. Hmm. Oh, okay, I see. It's different between the weapons. Right at that yellow box. Yep. This one sticks a little bit further to the center of the screen. Okay, gotta get used to that. Oh god. Jeez, that was easy. There we go. What the fuck? Okay, a couple things happened there. I shot right between his legs, and then he decided to take a break for a couple seconds. Oh, I'm so tired. And then he flew up in the air and broke some icicles. Right. Oh, fuck, it's cold down here. I gotta get out of here. There we go. The engine telegraph is stuck. Come on, back emergency. I will have you caught, Marshal. Poor That looks dangerous. Go, 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 go. Whew. I think I ran out of sprint. Oh, 
Okay, so this is where he died. What went wrong? I'm just gonna hang back here because I think there might be an explosion or something. Put the extinguishers on manual. Yep. <laughs> Glad I didn't follow him. Okay. Come on. Come on. Whew. And saved. Or... Wait, what? Did I do something wrong? It looked like I completed it successfully. Did I just do it, not do it fast enough? Maybe I just didn't do it fast enough? Alright, well that's that was a hell of a lot faster. Are we good? I uh, yeah, I guess I just didn't do it fast enough. doesn't look like I'm actually hitting him. Oh, shit. This man seems to have a severe case of noodle arm. And he's also faced through the grating. This entire place looks... burned. is that? The fuck is that? Um... What? 
I do. I don't even. I don't even know what. Well, I didn't exactly get a very good look at it, but it looked like some giant dude with binoculars and dual guns and some sort of a siren. Interesting. <laughs> There's an oil fire down there already. Can't put it out with water. <coughs> we need to turn on the inhibitor, but it's leaking. You know why? We need a valve adapter like this one, except in one piece. <coughs> I think we can make one though, quickly. Go look for metal bars there, in the corner. Metal bars in the corner, okay. Okay, where do you want this? Tell me where to put it. What am I doing? This? Oh, shit. Uh, this. Come on, come on, machine faster. Machine faster. Okay, but uh, what do I do now? Come on. <laughs> what you got? Hurry up or we'll all suffocate. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay, almost done. And give it to me. I'll finish it myself. <coughs> you better be quick. Oh god, he's going into that? Jesus. Good luck. Good luck. His lungs are going to be fucked. Is that... Is that a door to the outside? Not that I actually want to go outside because it's going to be even colder. It is. There's even snow effects. You get snow over everything you're holding. That's so cool. Pardon the pun. I'm like 99% dead. I have basically one hit point. And there's the note. To the captain of nuclear icebreaker Northwind. Upon cargo delivery, proceed to destination for temporary docking. Your ship will be subsequently decommissioned. 
prepare all necessary paperwork. Wow. So this thing was being decommissioned. And it's gone. Was I imagining it? Engine on four stone! We're doing 20 knots! It's not safe! The engine telegraph is stuck! Come on! Back! Emergency! I'll have you port martial! Pull our stern! Yeah, I don't trust big hallways. Ever. And it just auto-saved, which is another bad sign. So it looks like there were a lot of sick people. Where are you? Hold up. To the sick bay. The sick bay. The sick bay is overcrowded. To the hallway then along the walls quickly. Is that just from injuries from the crash and all that? Or is that maybe them transforming into the monsters. What expectorants do we have? All right, get me some ampicillin and EDTA. How much? Whatever we've got, we might just need all of it. <laughs> Doctor, look! 
Rinse the eyes, mouth, and nose with water. Remove his clothes. Pump his stomach before he hemorrhages. Yeah, what exactly are they treating? Pump his stomach and rinse the eyes and... What? The hell is that a treatment for? Nausea, air on one pill two to three times. If it persists, administer one milliliter of one atropine solution intramuscularly. If you cannot stop vomiting, use 50 milliliters of 10% sodium chloride intravenously. Don't give them anything to eat or drink. Compensant, polyglucinum, everything we've got intravenously. Up to 400 milliliters every 24 hours. Now move it, we're running out of time. Doctor, he collapsed. Four milliliters of cordiamine and one milliliter of 1% meseton solution under the skin now. Then rig up a catheter with four milliliters of one noradrenaline solution per 200 milliliters of saline solution. Doctor, will you look at this one? Look at what? I can see it already. They are... to the bone. Almost glowing. Go check the pulse. I don't know. Just... makes no sense. Yeah, I think this was their transformation into the monsters. What the hell is that light? What the fuck? Is that a bug? Where's it coming from? I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, you can actually die in those visions? I didn't even know that was possible. In that case, I'll go backwards. Big empty room with only one door, and it's, I forgot what these are called, but it's where they store the bodies. That's comforting. What am I going to be doing in here?
to the... Whoa, what the f... What? Now that's the kind of creepy horror that I like. Apparently it's locked. This should clear that up. You can hear the ice just groaning, almost like it's alive. What happened to you? Poor guy seemed to die in his cell. Uh, it seems like he died in his cell. Hello, you animals. Another day well spent. <laughs> I think I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, whoa. Jesus. Back to oh. your cages. Okay, I don't want to piss him off. He's still there? No. Looks like we've got a bit of a mutiny, or a prisoner escape. I wonder why they were in prison to begin with. And where do you think you are going? To freedom. Are you indeed of those who have the right to cast off the yoke? There are many a slave who has lost all their value after becoming free.
What's that noise? The fuck is that noise? I don't like that. What the hell is that? It doesn't like the light. going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way, aren't I? Is it going to try to kill me? Hello? You can keep banging that all you want, it's okay. I don't mind. Just get out of the way, and don't try to eat my face, please. I can touch him? The hell? Wait, is that coming to me right- Oh, fuck! The hell is that thing? Oh. Do I hear another one? What am I hearing? Oh no, that's just this leg pulsating. Ugh. Oh my god, it's got razor blade like fingers. I just realized in the last two seconds that I wasn't seeing something from the past. I was seeing something that I was looking through one of the monster's eyes, and it was coming for me. You again? So fucking creepy. Oh, what are you doing? What if I touch it without having my light on? Does that make any difference? Oh god. Oh no, that's coming. That is coming. Looks like I dropped a new weapon for me, too. What are these things? PPSH-41. Hmm, I wish I had another, uh, another magazine, because... I want to know what this reload sound sounds like. Let's see what the shooting sound sounds like. Oh, apparently it's burst fire. You click once and it... Yeah, it's not too accurate. No, that, that is extremely inaccurate. Alright, let me reload. Yeah, the, the actual shooting sounds vary from very good to kind of mediocre, but the reload sounds so far have been just straight out amazing. So I can't wait to get another, another drum and see what this thing sounds like when I reload it. Looks like the back of its head has been chopped off. Like cut flat. And there's something in it. 
But I have no idea what that is. Oh, no, not the... Not again. <laughs> not again, please. Not another one. Alright, well, let me test this thing out. What the heck? What is that, the Big Bang? Actually, wait, is that the formation of Earth? Uh, I think it is. Maybe that was the Big Bang. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, like I said, if you're trying to make sense of the story, don't. It's a... an ice web holding the Earth, which is encircled by ice thorns. And judging by the noises, contained within is about a hundred damned souls. Let's see how these two people died. I'm guessing they're trying to defend this place. And failed. Yep. Oh my god. Oh god, I, I can't fucking see! And I failed. Can't see. Oh, come on. You know what, let's try this one first. Turn on the battery! Move it! They're gonna burst in any minute! Ah, there you go.
Jesus, man, you are a good shot. He's insta-killing all of them in one shot. Okay, maybe now I'll have light? There you go. This gun is a lot more powerful than mine. Reload, reload, reload! Whew. zombie dogs. Hi. I'm just gonna get this weapon out. Damn it, I can't jump up there. I do not want to be on the floor. These could open at any moment. Any moment they could just open. Oh, apparently I can shoot through that. That would have opened up the cages. Bye. Jeez, so rude. Just shoots me in the face and then walks off. Must have jumped down. Oh! There we go. Maybe I'll get a chance to reload this baby. Oh, 
Oh yeah. The fuck? Oh my god. Th there's a there's a room inside of his head. Hold on a second. Let's look at this. What the fuck? It's a Uh, <laughs> I think it's a jail c Yeah, it's a jail cell. His face is a jail. Oh my god. That is so fucking creepy. Okay, now let's hear the reload noise. Come on, please be sexy. Oh, I think I have a full clip. Uh, well, not a clip, full magazine. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. Where you going, dude? Oh shit. Oh god. Ooh. It is a dude with Are those Oh no, those aren't binoculars, those are lights. They're flashlights. And his hands are bolted to his head and he's got guns strapped. That's such a fucking weird monster. I really love what they've done with some of these monsters. The creature design is exceptional, I think. Just so bizarre. And it it makes like a siren noise. And the siren noise kind of sounds like it's being shut off, like the power is going out when it dies. I wonder if there's ammo in any of these toilets. I don't think that's something they would do. came from? Uh, no. No, it's not. It's a little bit hard to do combat when you're getting 15 FPS as I am right now. That doesn't exactly lend itself well to shooters.
can almost reach it. Just stick your hand through. I can't get it. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I could have just opened the gate. Wait, haven't I been up here before? Or is this just like another place with the same layout? Yeah, I've already been here before. What? Where am I going? Get a nice 16 FPS right here. That's beautiful. Hello. Well, I'm pretty damn well set for ammo. Oh god. I'm pretty sure icicles don't just, like, suddenly explode when they warm up. I think they slowly melt. I appreciate that they made the icicles disappear, but a little bit more of a subtle effect would have been better. Scenes like this I just love in games. Just so... such an awesome little... scene. Nothing but the cold. You can hear the... 
biting wind out there and the clanging of the door. What's wrong? Aren't you happy with your freedom? Or is something wrong with it? Want to get back to your plates already? Then go. You'll get your meal on time. Alright, I think I'm going outside. Oh, not quite yet. Well, before I go outside, I'm actually going to end this episode here. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.